Okay, introduction of acrylic paint. Ataupun introduction of acrylic color. Eh? Acrylic adalah sejenis pigment ataupun sejenis medium. Ataupun sejenis apa nama color lah. Acrylic is a sejenis This is acrylic. Ini adalah acrylic. Di dalam tube. Dan ada a few acrylic. Ini yang set of acrylic. Uh, a small tube. Ada banyak. Kalau kalau kamu beli yang yang small tube macam ni. One set. Kamu akan dapat banyak lah. Kalau kamu beli yang single macam ni. Akan dapat sesuatu lah. Eh. Hmm, satu-satu. Hmm, anyway, it's up to you. You want to buy one whole set or you want to buy just a, a primary color and a few secondary color pulang pada awak semua tak ada masalah eh? acrylic acrylic dia very fast drying acrylic paint is a fast drying paint made of pigment suspended in acrylic polymer emulsion and plasticizer allow the if you in Europe, like if you in France ataupun negara-negara uh, yang uh, berkomunikasi menggunakan bahasa Perancis, they used to call acrylic is a plastic color. Because I was in Tunisia 2012, dulu lah, uh, 2012, uh, I'm participating uh, at residency in Tunisia for three weeks. So I was invited for this um, residency or this colony, art colony. We are calling that art colony uh, to do to participate in in plastic art. Uh, painting. I was very excited during that time because it was a very new for me. The term, the terminology of apa nama ni, plastic. I thought it was a plastic but actually the plastic is acrylic. So, bila saya sampai sana then baru saya tahu bahawa uh, they used to call acrylic is a plastic painting. So, there is no any apa no problem for me lah to to join them and apa nama and apa acrylic is a is a is a pigment dan kita boleh buat berbagai-bagai teknik menggunakan uh, pigment acrylic ni eh acrylic paint uh, water soluble but become water resistant when it when it's dry once uh, once it dry it dry forever uh, permanently eh? depending on how much the paint is diluted with water or modified with acrylic gel acrylic gel medium if you want to do if want if you want to paint with acrylic and want to make it uh when slow dry so you have to put the the medium the medium the medium called acrylic medium uh, medium tu nama dia acrylic medium ataupun acrylic gel acrylic gel ni uh, you have to mix with color to make apa nama ni less uh, lambat lah lambat lambat uh, apa lambat kering sometimes kita nak sapu sesuatu tu kita perlukan uh, little bit time kan untuk supaya dia lambat kering untuk kita mix dengan color yang lain sebab method dia adalah mixing color uh, sama ada modified ataupun mixing with acrylic gel medium or modeling paste uh, modeling paste is like macam apa nama eh macam fila tau macam fila tapi tu kalau kamu nak buat texture the finish acrylic painting can resemble a watercolor gosh 
uh, all painting or have its own unique characteristic not attainable with other media you can modify the appearance hardness flexibility texture and other characteristic of the paint surface by using acrylic medium or simply by adding water acrylic have the ability to bond to many different surfaces the medium can be used to modify the binding characteristic acrylic can be used on paper on canvas and a range of other material any material you can use you know you can paint using acrylic in these cases it is recommended that the surface first to be sealed with an appropriate sealer so if you use a different media like uh, if you use different media like wood or boxes of box and any any other lah any other medium yang lain you the most the, the 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 most important is to put a sealer or or, or gesso uh, coating lah kena to put some coat like apa nama ni emulsion pun boleh put emulsion but emulsion actually if you uh, sapu dekat canvas is not recommended because Emulsion ni kadang-kadang when you roll the canvas after you paint, dia akan crack tau, dia akan crack. So, in order to to not to be, apa nama ni, canvas to crack, uh, the best medium is sealer. Sealer ni dia macam undercoat. Ha, kalau kita nak cat rumah, kita kalau tak sealer dulu kan. Then after sealer, Mostly sealer is a white color. Mostly when you put a, uh, after you put a sealer, when it dry, then only you can you can you can sapu dengan any other color yang lain lah. Kalau kalau apa yang kamu uh, yang kamu suka boleh sapu di atas sealer tu sebab hmm, kamu akan dapat color yang actual. Otherwise kalau uh, ni saya bagi contoh kalau dinding eh. Otherwise kalau kamu tidak letak sealer ataupun tidak letak coating pada pada wall tu bila kamu paint nanti color dia tak tu tahu sebab color dia akan absorb ke dalam ke dalam uh, wall tu dalam batu tu ataupun dinding tu lah so uh, in order to prevent daripada absorb apa nama ni acrylic tu di, di atas any medium like uh, plywood wood or box then you have to put something uh, surface dia lah Gesso lah kalau kalau untuk ni gesso tapi instead instead of gesso yang lain pun boleh juga termasuk lah emulsion sendiri boleh dia letak eh. Wet acrylic paint is easily removed from paint brushes and skin with water as long as apa nama ni color still wet or it still not dry yet you can you can wash it using a water but if the color for example okay. hmm? huh? okay, aku jap ni kelas jap je lah aku kau kau kelas kau Okay, apa nama Apa tadi saya cakap tadi? Dah lupa dah Okay, if you know If this color If acrylic color kena kamu punya baju Ataupun kena Ini ada tempat lain lah Kena baju ke, kena apa ke As long as the color Is still wet Then you can wash it with water easily If If 
uh, the color completely dry for example it guna ni you paint on the morning and lupa nak basuh until evening then the color memang betul-betul kering di atas baju kamu memang susah nak cuci lah memang dia akan permanently di atas baju atau seluar kamu that's why uh, kalau menggunakan acrylic uh, lebih bagus guna uh, pakai apron lah aku biasanya orang pakai apron lah biasanya kalau uh, kalau kamu tengok uh, kat mana-mana kat mana-mana kelas kan kat mana-mana painting kelas yang biasanya gunakan acrylic ataupun yang ni ada color they used to wear um, tu guna motor apron kalau artis biasanya dia tak peduli tak peduli color kena baju ke kena seluar ke because yang itu adalah pakaian dia waktu dia bekerja itu tak ada masalah lah yang itu eh okey painting me painting may be thin and mix with water to do wash technique like watercolor paint but unlike watercolor the technique is not uh, rehydratable once dry for this reason acrylic not do not lend themselves to the color lifting technique of uh, gum arabic or base watercolor paint instead the paint is applied in layer sometimes diluting with water to allow dry allow layer underneath to partially show through using an acrylic medium give the paint more of a rich and gloss glossy appearance whereas using water make the paint look more like watercolor and have a matte finish macam yang yang saya explain last week eh like i told you last week or last few week acrylic can use to make like a watercolor painting as long as if you want to you want to paint like watercolor technique then you have to put more water uh, you have to put more water and but it's not like watercolor Uh, dia 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 lebih kepada macam Chinese ink when the color is when the color dry it, you you can wash the color anymore kan so you can put or you you boleh you boleh apa nama ni touch up color tu that's why uh, acrylic the technique adalah touch up maknanya we are starting from usually i'm doing i'm i'm start with dark color first and slowly make it make it uh, light uh, and boleh juga kamu buat from light and into the dark and come back again light again maknanya from from light to the dark using uh, apa nama the technique is like um, gauche technique kan technique gauche ataupun teknik watercolor pun boleh juga ataupun teknik poster color uh, then cumanya kalau watercolor ataupun poster color ataupun gauche when when you you of course you will start from uh, light color and slowly make it dark and it's very difficult for you to to apa nama ni to make it the certain area uh, light terang sebab bila kamu sapu color tu dia akan dia akan, dia akan apa eh dia akan dia tak dia walaupun dia kering tapi bila kita letak air dia akan color tu akan keluar balik maknanya hmm it make like you know a slightly difficult to separate the color ah yang tu katak yang betul kot separate the color kalau acrylic because dia dia pass dry That's why kita, kita, we always take advantage from the uh, past dry tu, acrylic ni. Bila dia kering, senang kita nak top up any color di atas color yang di bawah tu. Faham eh? Bila color yang di bawah tu dah kering, contohnya color tu uh, dark color, like blue, like you know, like black color ke apa ke kan. 
when we, when you put white dekat atas color tu dia memang white lah berbeza dengan gouache ataupun poster color kalau di bawah dia tu nampak color first color that you paint is let's say dark color ataupun black color when you put light color like yellow or uh, you put white color to you know, to, to to your attention is to to make it uh, lighting kan but when you put white on top of apa nama ni dark color dia akan mix uh, the color dark the, the color dark below plus uh, white color yang kamu campur tu dia automatically dia akan mix automatically dia akan mix dan then bila dia mix you cannot get uh, completely white apa yang kamu dapat mungkin grey color uh, macam tu lah tu dia akan itu yang apa uh, yang membezakan the differentiate of acrylic and any other color uh, yang itulah in fact oil pun sama juga oil tu adalah sejenis color yang memang dibuat lambat kering memang oil design for for itulah oil kan kamu pun tahu kan memang kalau tu dia ambil masa kalau kita dah paint dia ambil masa berhari-hari untuk kering unless kita ada oil line pula kan kita akan they have any ada apa nama ni supporting supporting medium to make Uh, oil to to make oil color fast dry uh, balik eh oil usually artist using a medium to make it fast dry but acrylic usually artist mix with um, any other medium to make it late apa nama to make it uh, slow uh, dry uh, alright Uh, I hope you understand eh? ya, nak expresskan apa yang nak saya nak explain tu agak payah sikit kan painting uh, okay. acrylic will give you a great flexibility thin transparent acrylic ni is a trans, transparent color medium lah, eh? thin transparent uh, washes like watercolor enable to build up multiple layer of color and thick impasto sword creating texture and movement if you want to use if you want to paint like you know like oil then you have to uh, apa nama ni put a modeling paste contohnya eh just to make it a uh, texture or if you want to make acrylic like uh, look like a texture or you, you make it a texture on apa nama ni to acrylic ni uh, yang itu you have to take a little bit time because uh, if the acrylic if you do if you put very thick acrylic on on the surface definitely dia akan melambatkan sikit proses untuk dry if you if you if you need the texture then you have to be patient hmm. acrylic boleh jemur eh bila kamu sapu dia kamu perlukan texture tu uh, then untuk keringkan ni kamu boleh jemur tapi uh, kamu apa menggunakan a lot of pigment ni lah agaknya rugi sikit gunakan banyak color kan so untuk jimat to save your cost or to save your acrylic color just put uh, like fila or, or plaster of paris or modeling paste on the canvas first on the paper first when it's dry then you just put a little ataupun a, a very thin color on top of uh, canvas tu it's enough for you to get a texture for example like this kan kamu tengok ni eh okay, this is a texture if you look if you look like uh, apa nama ni side view this is a texture 
I put I put apa nama ni I put the the texture first. I'm using a uh, I'm using uh, apa nama uh, ni a uh, fila. Fila yang orang buat rumah tu kan. Okay, this is one one more thing. Kita tengok ni. File eh. texture. This is called texture too. To get, to get a texture with acrylic, you have to put a lot of color here. So if you put a lot of color, maybe if this size, if this small size not enough for you to get this texture. So to, to you know, to, to, apa nama ni? To make it safer, just put, uh, uh, apa? Any, any, any medium. Uh, modeling paste, okay. Modeling paste, and boleh juga letak pasir tau. Pasir, pasir, mix dengan glue, then sapur kat sini. Pasir, sand, eh? sand dekat apa beach. Uh, this this one is a different this one is a different but still you can see the texture you can see the texture this painting done by my friend from vietnam uh, so, uh, paper. a texture sorry a texture tapi but this this medium is like a cement it's like a cement and on wood see i can you know knock you can hear a sound kan nampak wood ini dipanggil lacquer painting lacquer painting uh, to make to make it one solid painting like this you need to have six months at least otherwise it very very apa nama ni slow dry yang ini this is this one is a traditional uh, Vietnamese painting. Okay. Most important things to remember when you paint this acrylic is uh, to clean your brushes regularly. Meaning you must have a uh, water container like this after you paint you have to wash your brush immediate, immediately immediately uh, to, to nak, kalau nak jaga brush lah eh. uh, you have to clean your brushes regularly and keep the actual bristle moist this is because acrylic dry so quickly they can easily ruin your brushes and if they dry hard onto your bristle, it's very difficult to get off. Okay. Using acrylic is the simple way to learn how to paint successfully. Alright, saya rasa for the lectures untuk uh, apa nama ni, introduction of acrylic is dah habis. Eh, ada, ada soalan tak? Do you have any other question? Before uh, I start hmm. uh, uh, Apa, berus pakai flat brush ke ataupun round? Um, round, bagus Eh, apa nama ni? Flat, biasanya flat lah Flat brush, tapi Sometimes round round brush tu uh, Kena ada juga untuk kamu buat detail Bagian-bagian yang detail kan, ataupun small part Small part Kena ada round brush juga. But, tapi round brush ni, dia mudah rosak tau. Ini flat brush eh. Brush, round brush. Round brush ni dia mudah rosak kalau kamu lambat pasuh. That's why you have to wash it regularly after you use any color or if you want to change to other colors, just wash the brush. Lepas wash, lap lah. Lap. Hmm. Dan good if you can use for apa namanya uh, separate brushes lah 
for acrylic is different different brush and for watercolor is different brush tapi kalau kamu boleh jaga dengan bersih boleh je guna a uh, watercolor balik semula menggunakan round brush ni yang biasanya round brush adalah untuk actually in, 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 instead of flat and round boleh dia guna brush-brush yang lain contoh brush yang macam macam ni kan dan ni untuk untuk kita untuk rendering brush yang begini dan brush yang uh, Hmm. Ah, macam ni ada ada a few kind of brushes ah, brush brush yang berbeza kan ah, lain lain ini lain hmm okay okay alright ada soalan lagi tak mana eh, nak buat ni. Eh. Okey lagi satu. Jom eh. Apa kod? Okey lagi satu. Awak dah dah